Hi guys, I'm Rosie. Welcome to my first makeup tutorial. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm new at this. Um, it's my first video for YouTube. I have an Instagram page that I will link down below if you guys are interested. That's where I usually post all my makeup looks. Um, but a lot of you have been asking me if I've ever would do videos and I'm like, why not? Um, obviously they're not perfect. I am new, like I said. The lighting might not be great. I do um, ask that you guys understand. But if you like what you see and you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep watching. Okay, guys. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Morphe 35R palette. And what we're going to do first is we're going to take this color right here. And that's going to go on your crease. But before we do that, before I forget, let's go ahead and prime our eyelids. I usually use concealer to prime. I think it works just as well as any primer. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape from Tarte. <laughs> All right, so apply that. Make sure your hands are clean. we're gonna set it and to set it I'm gonna be using it's actually the RMCA powder but I went ahead and dumped it in to the air spun container but any setting spray will be fine all right so once you have done that we could go ahead and move on to the makeup look all right so again we're going to be using the morphe 35r palette and we're going to start with this color right here and any blending brush that you have and that's just going to go in your crease Okay, and then we're going to pick up the second color, which is going to be this one right here. And that's also going to go in your crease. All right, and we're also going to pick up this color right here. And that's also going to go on in your crease. Just blend it in. Clean brush. Just make sure there are no harsh lines. Okay, so the next color we're going to pick up is this chocolatey color right here and that's going to go in the outer portion of your eye and again just make sure you go back to your blending brush and blend you don't want any harsh lines. All right. So then for the lid, I'm going to be using this greenish, goldish color, I would say. And just with the flat brush, just pack it on your lid. And I'm also going to pick up this darker color right here. And I'm going to place that like in the outer third of the eye. All 
Okay, and then we're also gonna pick up this darker brown right here. And that's also gonna go on in the outer portion of the eye. Okay, and then picking up a little bit more of this color, of the first color we used in our blending brush. I'm just gonna pick it up and just kind of blend everything together. And then kind of go back with your small blending brush to make sure everything looks the same. All right, and what I like to do before doing my eyeliner is I like to take a makeup wipe, any makeup wipe will do, and just kind of clean the edges. All right, and then for eyeliner, we're gonna be using the NYC Liquid Liner. I heard that they were discontinued, but I think NYX has a really good one, so you could use that as well. So let's see if I could do that since the mirror is pretty far away from me. I'm trying to stay in focus. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use a small mirror. And just do the eyeliner. I mean, you could totally skip the eyeliner for this look and then just put lashes on. But if you know me, I like eyeliner. I just feel it makes like the biggest difference Okay guys, so after you manage to get your eyeliner <laughs> somewhat the same, uh, we're gonna move on to lashes, and today I'm gonna be using the ones from Kiss. These are their mint collection in the style Gala. These are actually my favorite lashes, and they're very affordable, so you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. Sorry if the light, you know, comes in and out. I'm filming in front of my window and it's really windy today. So we're just gonna wait for the glue to get somewhat tacky before we put them on. Okay, let's, let's do it. So while the glue is drying, let me just clean this up. And, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the face. All right, so for the face, for primer, I'm gonna be using the NYX or the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Just. And if you guys are wondering for brows, I always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in medium brown. But yeah, I know my eyebrows aren't perfect, but if you guys want to see a tutorial, then I would love to do a tutorial for you guys. Um, since I do have dark circles, I do like to conceal them. And for that, I use the NYX Dark Circle Corrector in medium.
All right, and for foundation today, I'm actually going to try out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it's my first time, so let's see how it goes. And I'm just going to put my hair... It's very liquidy. Uh, I usually use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. That one's actually my favorite. And I just got foundation on my shirt. Because that's what I do. Alright, and to blend it out, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques uh, Beauty and Sponge. I'm not sure if this is my color, but... Yeah, I mean... I don't know if you guys could see, but... The coverage... In my opinion... It's not there. Um, unfortunately... You know, as you get older, I am three years old, so you do have a lot of... Um, you know, dark spots, acne marks, and this foundation does not cover them at all. I'm sorry, and for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape and Tape, and mine's in the light medium shade. So, I actually think I'm going to go return that foundation because I did not like it. So just blend it out. What the heck? Oh, seriously? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys could see, but the coverage in my opinion, it's not there. Um, unfortunately, you know, as you get older, I am three years old, so you do have a lot of, um, you know, dark spots, acne marks, and this foundation does not cover them at all. I'm sorry, and for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape and Tape, and mine's in the light medium shade so I actually think I'm gonna go return that foundation because I did not like it so just blend it out so as I mentioned this is my first YouTube video um, I have an Instagram page if you guys are interested I would love for you guys to follow me on Instagram to keep you updated with my video uploads that would be amazing um, so I am new to the YouTube community um, I actually hesitated to do YouTube videos for a really long time because I was scared of the editing portion of it because I suck at computers. <laughs> Alright, so to set that we're going to use the RMCA uh, translucent powder. Alright, and while that is baking, we're going to move on to bronzer. And I love the J-Cat bronzer in number 102. I love it. I think it gives you like a really natural look. So, we're just 
going to... I love BH Cosmetics. I love their brushes. But these brushes... I mean, I don't know what kit it is. They have a ton... Like, the brushes shed. Look at that. It's kind of annoying. On the forehead because yes I do have a big ass forehead so <laughs> oh my god and on your jawline right so we're gonna go ahead and dust the powder away Okay, and moving back to the eyes, let's see, all right, so going back to the eyes, we're going to go ahead and tight line with the Maybelline Studio um, eyeliner, and this is in the color tight line. With this and then we're also going to put it on our waterline all right so put some in my eye okay so we're going to go back to the morphe palette and we're going to use this color again on the lower lash line and just any pencil brush that you have will do. If I can find mine, that would be awesome. Okay. And just blend the lower lash line with that color. And since it is it is daytime, I don't want to go any darker on the lower lash line, but I just want to blend it a little bit more, so I'm just going to get my blending brush and blend it. Alright, just like that. Alright, and then for the inner corner, we're going to be using the Kat Von D what, holographic palette. And I'm going to take the color green emerald and I'm just going to put that in the inner corners of my eye. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, and I'm gonna highlight with Becca Champagne Pop. I'm sure you guys all know who came up with that. Jacqueline Hill. All right, so I'm gonna put that on my cheekbones. On my nose, Cupid's bow. Okay, now I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Big Shop mascara, and I'm just gonna put them on my lower lash line and blend my falsies with my lashes. Sorry guys, I hope you could see what I'm doing.
Okay, so moving on to blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette from BH. It's their 10 color palette. And I'm gonna use, I don't know if you can see it, but whatever's left of this color. And we're gonna go ahead and blend everything together. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and do our lips. And for that, I'm gonna be using the <laughs> Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Bombshell. So let's do that. All right, and lastly, we're gonna go ahead and set our face, and I'm gonna use the Gerald, Gerard, I don't know, please forgive me, um, Cosmetics Setting Spray, and this is in Peach. It smells really good. Alright guys, so that is the final look. Tell me what you guys think. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe. Again, this is my first video so I hope you guys are patient with me because obviously I'm new to this. The lighting might not be as great but if you give me your support, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.